This book is called Something from Nothing. It's by Phoebe Gilman. Something from Nothing is adapted from an old Jewish folktale. Phoebe Gilman made sure that she understood this story as it was translated from Yiddish, and then she painted all of the illustrations that help young learners read through the book and understand what's happening. When she published her book, Phoebe wrote the dedication for Irving Hirschhorn, our uncle. We remember you with love. Phoebe's books are remembered in a website that you can visit, phoebegilman.com. And the Ontario Arts Foundation continues giving out every year the Schwartz Children's Book Awards for picture books and for chapter books. In 1993, this book, Something from Nothing, won the Ruth Schwartz Award for picture books. When Joseph was a baby... His grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small, doesn't fit you at all. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. But... As Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, <laughs> look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. 
But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's splotched and it's splattered. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your button? Joseph looked. It was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid... But your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said, as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make... A wonderful story. The end. Here is a photograph of Phoebe Gilman, the illustrator and artist and retailer of this folk tale. She grew up in the Bronx, one of the five boroughs of New York City, studied in the United States, in Israel, and in parts of Europe. Um... At the time she published this book, she was living in Toronto with her family there. This book has been Something from Nothing. It's an old Yiddish folktale, and it has been retold and then illustrated by Phoebe Gilman.